Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about dictionaries in Python. So dictionaries in Python are the collections in which you store the values as key and value pair. Okay, so let me quickly copy the contents that I'll be covering in this particular tutorial and I will create a new Python file and I'll uh, name is uh, it as dictionary demo. Let me paste everything here and I will comment these out. Okay, so dictionaries are used to store data in key value pair. They are changeable and do not allow duplicate values. Okay, so that's what the dictionaries are. And in this tutorial, what we are going to learn is we'll understand how you can define dictionaries, how you can access the items from dictionaries, what is the real use case of dictionaries? So I'll explain that as well, how you can add items and remove items from dictionary. So if you are learning Python for becoming a Python developer, go through more details around the dictionaries. In terms of automation, I'll be covering the use case of dictionaries and how you would be using dictionaries in your actual automation framework. So now the first step is defining the dictionary. So defining the dictionary in Python is pretty simple. If I want to define a dictionary, say for example, demo dictionary, I'll name a variable. And then with the curly brace, if I leave this curly brace as empty, then that's the empty dictionary. Okay. So as we have also seen that sets also can be defined with the curly braces. So if you see the sets file here, so when we were learning sets that also goes into the curly braces, but dictionary also goes into the curly braces. And if it is an empty curly brace, that's a empty dictionary. And how we can find that out, we can simply try to find the type of this particular variable. Okay, so let's see what exactly the type is. So there is a type method that we can use to find the data type of any. Uh, so here you can see that the class is of dictionary, All right? So this is how you'll define empty dictionary. Now, how to define the dictionary with the items, right? So as we have understood dictionary, you store the data in key value pair. So we have to define the key and the associated value with that key, right? So a key can be integer, can be string, can be mixed. So if within a dictionary, we can have the keys as integer, the value as integer, we can have the keys as string, value as string or mix of those. So say for example, I want to keep the keys as integer. So just define the key as integer and then colon and then value. If I want to assign a value as integer, I can assign that with comma separated. I can have another key which holds another integer value and then another key which holds a separate key value, right? So comma separated, you can simply keep adding the keys. So here, let me put it three and and I can put any keys there, right? So it doesn't need necessarily need to be in sequence. So I can put any of the keys. So here one is the key and the associated value is the value after the colon, right? Now I can have the key as string and the value as string as well. So I can simply change this key. Say for example, I want to define a test environment. So I can say QA is the key and here I can have some URL, the test URL. Okay. So I can say test URL here. Okay. Then other I can have UAT environment and then here I can have UAT URL. Okay. So this is how I will use the strings key value pair to define the dictionary. And here I'll name it as one and here one and let me name it as two. Right. Another option, I can have the dictionary with key as string. So uh, you can use either double quote or single quote. So I can use single quotes as well. So as we have understood that string, you can define within single quote or double quote. So I can have the key as the string, the value as string or key as string, the value as integer or key as integer and value as string. So that mix is also possible. So you can define absolutely any ways the dictionaries that you can think of. The only thing you have to remember is that there has to be a key and the value pair. Okay. So integer holds integer value. 
uh, string can hold string value, string can hold integer value, string can hold uh, a string value. So anything is possible in the definition or defining the dictionary, right? So that's all about defining the dictionary. The first one is about the uh, empty dictionary. The other three are the combination of dictionaries that you can define. Now, how you will be able to access the items from the dictionary, right? So let me remove this. Now, say for example, I want to access the item from dictionary one. So what I'll do is let me print out and in order to access the item simply say for example from demo dictionary one i want to access the item in the square brackets you just provide the key for which you want to get the value so say for example i want to get the value of the uh, the value that is associated with the key number one so in this particular case it should print 20 for me right so if i run this you will see 20 got printed now if i want to get the value that is associated with six i simply change this to 6 right so if I run this now you will see 67 got printed so this is how you will access the values that are associated to the keys in the dictionary now so for example I want to access the values that are associated with dictionary 2 uh, and dictionary 2 has this string so you have to basically in the key you have to provide string and the value will be printed accordingly so say for example i want to get the value associated with uat key then i'll simply provide the string uat and run it and you will see uat url got printed right so this is how you will access the items from the dictionary now how you will add the items to the dictionary now adding the items to the dictionary is very easy as well say for example i want to add a new item new key value pair in dictionary 2 so I can specify the key to demo dictionary too. So I can simply say, I want to add the prod URL as well, and then assign the value to it. So I can here, I can say prod URL. And now if I'll print the demo dictionary, let me print it, then it should add the new value. Here you can see prod URL has been added. Okay, so let me print prior to adding this key value pair and then we'll see after adding the key value pair the difference so prior to adding the item you can see there were only two items two key value pairs and after adding the values you can see prod has been added there now i can add any values there right so i can have the integer key so i can again if i want to add the integer so i can say just add the key one and with that key associate the value 56 right now let's print that you can see prod url got added and after that the key one got added followed by colon and 56 is the value that is associated with the key that we added so this is how you will add the items to the dictionary now the last point is how you will remove the items from the dictionary so that's also very simple now if after adding the item i want to remove certain items so there is a method a pop method so i will cover all the methods that you can use in dictionary or very commonly used method within within dictionary in the next tutorial but just to cover briefly how you will remove the items i'll use the pop method so i can simply say demo dictionary to just say dot and pop right so in the pop so we have two things there so we have pop and pop item so we'll use pop and just provide the key which you want to pop out from this particular dictionary so after adding the items into the dictionary there are these two items right and then we have added two more items say for example i want to pop out the last item or remove the last item that i want to that i have added so i can simply specify the key for that okay so let me print before removing the item and then after removing the item so this will print before removing the item and then this statement will print after removing this particular item so if i run this you will see that this is the first print statement which is demo dictionary 2 then we have added two items there so two key value pairs so prod url and the integer key and value and then i have popped out or removed an item with the key one so this 
key value pair is no more okay so this is a brief introduction about the dictionary this is very very helpful and dictionaries will be using in automation framework and the real scenario of dictionary will be say for example you are writing your automation scripts and you want to run your automation scripts on different test environments so you can use dictionaries to define your url for each of the test environment with any of the keys so for example qa or uat as you have seen in this particular case so you can define the url with the key qa uat pre-prod etc and then you can use those keys to basically run your test cases accordingly so this i have explained in one of the robots framework tutorial already but I'll be covering this usage of dictionary to run your same test cases on multiple test environment using the dictionaries into your automation framework for selenium with python so that's all for this particular tutorial I hope it was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching